It's beer o'clock on me, Lil Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Monkish Brewing Company and it's a can of their broccoli. Double dry hopped Imperial India Pale Ale coming in at 7.9% ABV. There's a look at the can wrap. A couple of words there, Freaky Friday. Really looking forward to this one. It's a 1.16 fluid ounce can. I want to say a massive thank you first of all, first, first of all to Chris in San Diego for getting the beer over to Steve in Manchester and then for Steve for posting the beers from Manchester over to me in Wales. Tremendous. Thank you very much guys. I really, really, really appreciate this support on the channel. Wow, look at this. Look at this. We got a one finger white head. Look at that hazy, hazy beer. Now, I would say it would be, if it was clear, it'd be amber in color, I would say. Well, amber kind of straw colored. It's hard to tell, but it's just so hazy. It's just so hazy. Incredible stuff. A little bit of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Uh, loads of oats being piled into this beer to give it that look, that juicy kind of double dry hop look. And of course, the, them oats are going to give a massive mouthfeel as well. So without further ado, let's get the aroma. It just, it just smells so relaxed. And what I mean by that, it just it just makes you... I, I, I'm looking outside now and the sun is shining out there and the bar's in the sun. And I'm thinking, oh man, I just, just kind of like wandered off to the bar, you know? <laughs> and and just, just relax with this wonderful... The aroma is incredible because it just wants to make you relax. There's a little bit of kind of... Mango, passion fruit, guava, kiwi fruit, juicy satsuma orange, grapefruit, pink grapefruit. Just exotic. I'm pulling these exotic fruits for you because it feels really exotic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Stone the crows. Stone the Crows, what an incredible, incredible beer. Just flavour, flavour, flavour. Massive, massive, massive kind of smacks of, of flavour come into you. Loads of that kind of, that double dry hop. That is to the level of, that's right up to the edge of the cliff, that is. That is right up to the edge of the cliff. I think if you started putting any more hops into this beer, I think it would take it over the edge. It would be too much. It's perfect though, because the, the first of all, the mouthfeel is really, really creamy, really dense, really creamy, really drinkable. <clears throat> Pardon me. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavor. And then it's your guava, it's your orange, your satsuma, your, your grapefruit, your mango. Even a touch of kind of sweet plum in there. But then there's that, that wave, it's wave after wave after wave of flavor. Little bit of bitterness on the back end little bit of sweetness to begin with. The mouthfeel is incredible. You would never think it was a 7.9% ABV beer. Incre incredibly drinkable. If you're a 
craft beer fan anywhere around the world really you probably if you're really into your craft beers you've probably heard of monkish and you've probably heard of this beer this is a beer that I think a lot of people in the craft beer world want to try and again massive thank you to Steve in Manchester for just for hooking me up with these beers it would be absolutely impossible otherwise to get these beers I think on release Steve was sending it telling me in an email Chris the bloke over in San Diego has to queue up with everybody else he picks up some cans they're sold out as soon as they're kind of put up for sale there's queues of people waiting outside of the brewery for the beer it's sold out I mean a lot of people will go okay I've got my beer now uh, you know and, and, and take it home and and drink it but it's really the thought the thought to be able to go send some over to Steve and then for Steve to go I don't want to drink all of this to myself I want to share it with 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 a with a youtuber it's just it's astonishing really and I, I really want to say a massive thank you um, I, I feel incredibly privileged to be able to drink such a wonderful wonderful beer cheers guys and, and thank you very much to everybody who tunes into these videos as well because without you guys tuning in none of this would be possible either loads of flavor now I had um, I got the one note um, got another I'm sure I got another note yes yeah, somewhere sorry guys I'll have to I'll have to find it now I definitely got it around just somewhere I don't know where it's gone um, but it, um, Steve put a list of all the hops I mean it might be on the side of the can but I doubt it that's a real shame what have I done with that I bet one of the kids have eaten it Steve I'm sure one of my kids have eaten your note um, sorry about that mate but um, the, the list of the hops was on the note never mind on we go I'm sure they're all kind of tropical hops from the San Diego area the California area they're all grown there um, maybe some New Zealand hops maybe some Australian hops thrown in for good measure but it really is an out of this world an out of this world craft beer great lacing great look I could stand and talk about this beer all night to you but I won't you can see the carbonation there chasing the head of the glass wonderful stuff um, the other can I had from um, Monkish was it was called B Boys of Old and that was really good that was really really good and I kind of I re remember like jumping for joy drinking that beer it was such a good beer um, this is as good this is as good as the B Boys of Old it, it is but I think the trouble is in life in life in general is that b-boys of old that was my first ever beer from monkish i'd heard of monkish never tried any of their beers and it set the it sent the bar set the bar high it set the bar really really high so the next time of course the next time you, you review a monkish beer you kind of you know in your mind how good the beer is going to be and it goes up this goes as high as the b-boys of old this it's an incredible beer look at the a little bit of sediment there in the bottom of the glass as well look at that right I'm ready to rate it there's nothing really to, to read or say on the side of this can I really wish I had that note mind to tell you what hops were in the beer I'll dig through before I do my next review I'll dig through and look for the paperwork just have a quick look through the drawers man where did that go No more. I need I need a proper studio. That's what I need. Proper studio where I can put stuff down and leave it. 
that's a while away though, that's a while away. I like this beer, this monkish broccoli double dry hopped India Pale Ale. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!